Contender number one, the American alligator. Straight out of the egg, they know how to kill. Yet for their first two years, their mother has to protect these tiny terrors from predatory males. Only three or four out of every hundred survive. But the lucky few grow up to become the biggest and baddest beasts in the swamp. Males can reach nearly 15 feet and 1,100 pounds. But there are records of gators up to 20 feet long. That ranks them alongside the biggest crocodiles. The bad news for this reptile is that its brain is only the size of a walnut. Alligators are built like trash compactors. No creature of its size can match its crushing bite force. And those powerful jaws are studded with 80 teeth. That makes stealing alligator eggs a risky business, but there are plenty of takers. The most determined thieves are raccoons, but it's not advisable to get caught red-handed. The alligator jaws are holding up under one and a half tons of bite pressure. Time for some serious. Should I should I be standing on the other side you can, of you, you away from the away, away because from the mouth. yeah, that's a, and I typically try to just and, hold him as comfortable as he as I can to make him feel good. How, how do you, his back? How do you how do you make how hard. do you make an alligator comfortable? Well, this guy, if he feels like he's being held properly, he'll just relax like this. Mm -hmm. We we've seen lots of alligators. What is what is Curly like to eat? Uh, Curly will eat uh, pretty much once again anything that gets close enough to those jaws. So now let's this just guy put our hands back. <laughs> here. <laughs> so he sort of sits in wait. You know, he's got that dark back. That dark back is because he's usually in dark water, mm -hmm. right? And he's going to sit in dark water. Just put that nose and those eyes above the water, and the rest of it's going to hide underwater. Just sit there and wait. And anything that comes in striking distance, if it looks like it's the right size, Curly grab. That's that's something else. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a predator. His web foot. I mean, this is, this is probably the only chance you're gonna get to hold a predator's a foot like this, an alligator's foot. You grab it, hold it up. Look See, this that. guy's a great swimmer. Look so when this that. guy gets in the water, he uses those feet to propel him, and this big tail. And this that, arm, you see how it just tucks nicely up against his belly, mm -hmm. and then they wiggle like so that. So he's got that guy. He's got that good streamline action. Yeah, going. that's how they work. You think those he, are grabbing. You think alligators get a bad rap? They do. Any animal that sort of looks that doesn't have the cuddly face, you know, you find we have that instant. Mm -hmm. What's the going on? Obviously, we're growing up with these dinosaur looks, and anything the prehistoric look kind of makes us think, "Ooh, it's ucky, it's gross." It's you know, we sort of watch our dinosaur movies and think that oh, they're all eating just chunks of meat. Right. Um, but generally speaking, you know, these guys live amongst so many people, and it's so rare to hear of attacks. I mean, they happen, of course. He just seems so mellow Very right mellow. now. This is... Animals, you know, it's one of our general missions why we do things like this. We try and teach kids and adults of all ages that, hey, most animals don't want to hurt you. But this this is Dave Salmoni. He, he was here today to talk to us about, about Monster Week on Animal Planet. And, uh, and and I'm a big fan, we, and, and, we, and I want to say thank you for bringing all the animals. And an old friend. We've been friends for so many years. I know. Thanks it's been a, having it, me on. Anytime. Anytime. Thanks for yeah. coming. Monster and Week, Animal Planet, goes right up to do May 25th. Uh, the final episode is my favorite. It's a River Monsters episode, two-hour special. So that's the one I really River Monsters. Can't. Another friend of the Daily News, yes. Jeremy, Jeremy Jeremy Wade. Great. Sure. Great. One of the best guys in TV. Fantastic. Well, thank you. Thank you again for coming. It's good, good to see you. See you. And uh, then thanks again. Great. Thanks. First thing that's probably most obvious about the alligator, feel the armored plating on the back. See that? Yeah. You seem a little nervous holding him. No, this is You all right with him? Yeah. All right. As, long as, I, as long as his head doesn't swivel my way. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep the danger send pointed yes, away. thank you. And do they usually take a few bites before they swallow them whole? Or is it they just like a slow... They can't chew. They have to tear flesh rather than taking chunks. You see their teeth are just spikes. What those teeth are good for is grabbing a hold of stuff and then he takes his big heavy body and he drags his things to the bottom of the water. Thanks Dave for chatting with us today. That was um, a once in a lifetime experience and there is the evidence to prove it. <laughs> Never gonna happen again. Shake your hand, it's probably not a great idea. Yeah.
are you? It's good, dude. Anyway, I'm being rude to everybody, not shaking anyone's hand. Oh my hand. goodness, what a cute touch. You got your hands full. This is yeah. cute. You can be rude, you've got your uh, hands full. This is an alligator. <laughs> yeah, it's a little one, right? It is actually a little one, you're right. These guys yeah. can be over a thousand pounds. Go ahead and sit down. Really, that, like, will that one get? Will that one get up to? They all basically grow to the size of their enclosures or what they eat. So oh. if this guy's in a wild area where there's lots of really big things, like big pigs or big deer or big things that he eats, he's gonna be huge. He'll be 16 feet, 1,000 pounds. But if he is in areas where he's living off frogs and little birds and things, then he'll stay a little smaller. Why do they always have that smile, at, like that evil smile on their face? So that like, smile like, is one of my like favorite things. they're mocking things. you. So that is because they are one of the most perfect predators in the whole world. Are These they? guys, they, they haven't evolved in millions of years. So millions of years ago, there was animals that looked just like this. And the only reason that they haven't changed is because they haven't met, needed to. Wow. They're really wow. good predators. So let me show you my favorite thing. Did you have them. one of these in your apartment Yeah, in well, actually, I just felt like, I was like, oh, did I miss a scene in Predator? Are we doing that right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we had one of these. We, 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 had, no, we had a Nile monitor, which looked very close to this, but he didn't have a long snout. He had like a short face, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, so with these guys, oh. Wait, I'm sorry. He I just, got lots of information. I don't know. He, he blinked, and then blinked. I freaked out. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody right. stay real calm. <laughs> Look, I got two nervous guys. I'm going to come out here. No. Not so not the, not. Uh, with these guys as a predator, you'll see my favorite thing about them is if you look, the nose is above the top of the head, and the eyes are at the top, right? So when this guy, even if he's 1,000 pounds, can live under the water, and all you'll see is little, two little bumps on the top. And he can sit like this and just wait. And if uh -huh. anything then comes nice and close. So you, you look at this guy. So if you look from the tip of his nose to about his back foot, anything in that circle, he can grab. So he'll reach out. And you look at his teeth. If you zoom real tight in on all his teeth, they're like, <laughs> they're like little pegs. There's no special teeth. There's no molars. There's no incisors. Nope. They're only for grabbing. Yep. So they'll grab onto something. And once they got a hold of you, that's it. They've got you. They don't ha but they can't take bites. So if it's something real big, if it's not bite size, they'll then take it in the water, try and soften it up. Now, have you heard of the death roll? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah right? Yeah. So yeah. that's what they're doing. Basically, they're taking something that's big, and they're really just trying to get a bite-sized chunk. Are they drowning it, right? No. So, oh. well, it can drown the animals. They don't care. They know when they've got you. You're going to die eventually. The, <laughs> that process of them dying, once they've got, they know it's over. You might not know yet. The death roll really is just to get a chunk. They're like, they, there's no point killing something really big if they can't eat it. So what they'll do is they'll grab it, bring it down, and try to spin just because uh, it'll then rip a chunk off that they can swallow. And this one in particular, how long before it grows into a full-size Kellyanne Conway? Uh, <laughs> if, he, if, if he eats a lot, it could be about a year. He could okay. be quite big. All now, right. you want to hold this guy? Nope. You sure? You... All right, I guess. Hold it. Yeah, can you get Michael to hold oh, it? Yeah, he's I actually have one more yeah. friendlier size. Like, oh, I'll bring the friendlier size oh, version out. Oh, we're going to bite right. size. Oh, look at that, lunch. We're going to bite size. All right. There we okay. go. Now. Yeah, yeah, hold on. That is, this is, are they going to get progressively smaller? Yeah, here you go. <laughs> now, you grab here. Okay. You grab the tail there. All right. Thumb down, because it can bite you. Oh, there great, you go. thanks. Now you're a gator right Don't say he can bite you before you. Uh, All right, right. All right you got it, Jimmy. Hey, there you go. Okay. You, 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 you tricked I didn't realize you were going to say yes to the bigger oh, one. Oh, right, right. But, uh, I can let you hold I this one. I could have gone for the joke, but what? that's how much I like animals. Why <laughs> does he... You want to hold this one? You want to have a little... Yeah. Yeah. Spend a little time with that thing. guy. Just yeah. uh, hand up at the front, make him feel comfortable. He will bite you if you let him. Okay. So give me your this hand yeah. there. And Wait, then if the that tail. Bites, I'm on the base. Feels comfortable there. Tail. Does it hurt if that yeah, little that, thing that bites you? Yeah, that's gotta hurt you. So if yeah, that's like it, no, it those, are, those are like straight up needles in his mouth. Yeah, right. Yeah. So if he grabs you, it'll hurt enough that it'll bruise a bit, maybe a little bit of blood. But the other guy, he can take. He's big enough to take a chunk off. Oh really? I oh, love yeah. this fight. He's got nice eyes. Now another thing, I don't know if you can yeah. get really close in the camera there, but while you're holding them there, you can see these guys are aquatic. So you can see that webbed foot there. Yeah, yeah. So these guys are excellent in the water. Show the tail as well. Yeah, yeah. So that's basically like, if you open this hand a little mm -hmm. bit, you can see it's like a big rudder. Oh, that's someone who wants Do you wants know these men behind you? Oh, I think he wants this. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, you wouldn't want to get into a, a swimming race with one of these guys. They're really good. Noted. But on the ground, 
You know, they're fast for a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. It's fine. They're not a very aggressive Dave, animal. You have not only been an animal person, you've been a human psychologist. Right. I didn't think we'd actually see things We've like made progress. Now. There you oh. go. We've made progress. You know, I actually still feel the hedgehog. Uh, you know what? We get, to say here, we get to say here, thank you, and see you later, alligator.